Hey everybody, it's Jen. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's Friday, September 4th, 2020, and it's time for a Friday haul. I hope you guys are doing great. I got a bunch of stuff this week. Uh, last week, I didn't have a very big haul, and I kind of made up for it this week. So I have um, a cherry on top, a great order from them. I got a few things at Target. Um, a few things from AliExpress came in, and I do have some Hobby Lobby clearance too. So yeah, we've got a, a bunch to get through, so let's get started. Um, at Target, they have, they're getting all that, like their Halloween and fall stuff out in the Bullseyes Playground, I'm sure you guys have seen, but um, I thought that these were the cutest things. They have these tiny little glass bottles. They're a dollar each and they're filled with different like embellishments. And I love that the labels are just like so cute. Like this says shrunken skulls and look, they're like little skulls. I guess you could use these in craft projects, but I thought they'd be great for a display for, for Halloween. And these are all a dollar. So I got I, I don't think I have all of them, but I got all the different ones that I saw. So I got the skulls. I got these ghosts, which I think I have these sequins already. But, I mean, come on. That label, so cute. And then witch's brooms, I thought was probably the cutest one. Like, look at those cute little brooms. Isn't that cute? I got to figure out how to display them. But um, I usually... I'm going to start decorating for fall this weekend. It's Labor Day weekend and on October 1st I put out Halloween stuff. So, I don't I don't know what I'm going to do with them. I've got some time to figure it out. This one is pickled bones. I mean, look at that. That is so cute, right? And then we have scaredy cats. <clears throat> Excuse me. They're like little purple cat sequins. So cute. This one is adorable too. Eye of Newt. Pickle to absolute perfection. And they're little, like, blue plastic eyes. Like, I don't know how I would use them in a craft project. I'm sure some of you guys would think of something cool. This is silver bullet shavings. This is just um, silver glitter, like big chunky glitter. But so cute, right? And then I have Midnight Madness. This is the same kind of glitter, but it's black. Yeah, oh, chunky glitter. Okay, I guess I could just read the label, right? Then we have miniature spell books. So adorable. Tiny little books, which I'm sure you could make and do this yourself, but adorable. Like, I don't have time to do stuff like that. Oops, sorry. This is Dragon Scales, also the chunky glitter. This is orange, a carefully collected concoction. And the last one I have, I know I have these pumpkins, but I had to get the jack-o'-lantern glass bottle too, so... Aren't those sweet? I mean, I just went crazy buying them all. At first, I was just going to pick out a few, and then I thought, all right, I'm going to regret not getting the ones that I leave. So, yeah, so I got those. All right, I'm going to move these out of the way. Be right back. Okay, we're back. So let's move on to, let's see, let's do AliExpress. I just got a few things from them. Actually, all of these came from the same seller, and I don't know if you know, but there's a or some places on Alley that sell Rosie Studio stuff, and I thought they were good prices. So I picked up these cute little puffy stickers, and as you can see, they're teeny tiny, sorry for the glare, but really cute little images. This is from the Chasing Butterflies collection, and I forget how much they cost, but I will link everything down below so you could take a peek if you're interested. But I thought these were so cute, right? Especially that cat. I just love him, so... So I got these puffy stickers, and then from the Arabesque collection, I got these, they're called foam stickers, kind of like thickers. And yeah, I thought they were so pretty, right? You could color that in. I like this. It looks very Maggie Holmes-ish to me. And then I got this, like, wintry collection stickers. This one is from the Wish Comes True, Wish Come True collection. And I just love the, like, the pastel and silver colors. Very pretty, right? Cute little, um, like, chipboard kind of thickers on the bottom there. Yeah. So I got that. And then the last one I got was this pack of butterflies. And these are, it says, butterfly embellishments. Looks like they're just kind of maybe puffed up a little bit. And 
maybe some foam tape under there, but they're like embossed, glittered butterflies. Just love the colors. So like I said, I will link those down below. And that's what I got from Allie. Let's go on to the Hobby Lobby clearance. I got some good stuff. I didn't see a lot of the things that you guys have been getting. So it's, it's fun to watch other people's Hobby Lobby clearance hauls because, I mean, they're not all the same. There are some things I got that are the same, but some that are different. But anyway, let's go to the first item. This one I've seen people get. It is a um, shaker die set of a rainbow, and I just think it is adorable, right? And this was from $9.99 to $2.49. As you know, their clearance is 75% off, which is awesome. And it includes four sheets of acetate. I think I saw Tina uh, Crafty Bean sh open this and show it. And um, yeah, it did have acetate in it, which is nice. You know, you never see that anymore. So yeah, this will be fun to make, I think. Love rainbows and making a shaker die or shaker out of it. That'll be really fun. And then this I've had in my cart on, I think, Zoo Lily for the longest time and just never picked it up. And I'm so glad I didn't because it was there in Hobby Lobby. And I've seen you guys pick this up. It is a 3D textured impressions embossing folder. And also from $10 to $2.50. And I love their 3D embossing folders because they really have beautiful texture. And this one is called Folk Art, I think. Yeah, Folk Art Pattern. And it's just so pretty. I mean, you wouldn't need much more on this if you emboss this into a card so I cannot wait to play with that I will definitely come back and show you guys what it looks like sorry I haven't yet <clears throat> sorry and I got this one too this is a Tim Holtz 3d embossing folder and this is called kaleidoscope and I just thought that was really pretty too there was another one that had like gears and stuff on it but um I don't I just wasn't really into it so I just got these two embossing folders Thought they were really pretty and great price. Another Tim Holtz thing I got was this uh, die set. It punches out all these little hearts and then a couple of the hearts on the side. So really cute. It's called Falling Hearts. I think this was, okay, this was reduced to $4.24 from $16.99. I don't know who would pay $16.99 for that. Maybe I'm just spoiled by alley prices and stuff but anyway 424 seemed like an okay price to me um I, something i did not see much of were the prima flowers being clearanced out this was the only one i saw maybe i just missed them but it looked like they had a bunch of prima flowers just not clearanced out anyway um this set is they're like kind of like tan taupe flowers and they have gold glitter on them I thought they'd be great for fall projects, and they were $4.99 originally, reduced to $1.24. So, yeah. So that, that was the only Prima flower that was on clearance, and good thing I liked them, so I grabbed them. They had some Paper Studio ones I just knew I wouldn't use, so I didn't get them. I got a few spare parts items. They had some white bottle caps. They had the bright colored ones too, but I just grabbed the white ones. Actually, I've never worked with bottle caps before, so I figured this would be a good way to try just a clearance item. Um, I think it would be fun to, I don't know, add some little embellishments and some glossy accents, right? I'll look up, see what you guys do. And, uh, craft lift your ideas. <laughs> Is that the, uh, yeah, I think that's the saying, right? <laughs> And then I got these uh, charms. They're snowflake charms, also 99 cents from $3.99. And I thought they were really pretty, right? Obviously good for winter projects. So there's that. I also got, okay, let's go to the bead section. I got these from Bead Design Company. They were 74 cents reduced from $2.99. And they're just tiny little, like those bumpy, bumpy beads. Textured pearl finish bead. Okay, eight millimeters. So there's a whole bunch in here. 30 grams, no idea how many that is, but seems like a lot. So I picked those up. And then I got this color and these are a little bit bigger. These are 10 millimeter and these are multicolored beads. They're not like the same bumpy finish. It's 
kind of like indented with silver dots on them. But I thought those were really pretty. I like the different colors. Also 74 cents. And the only other thing I got from Hobby Lobby, um, this was not on sale, but I used a coupon. I needed some new E6000. And I like that this one has like precision tips to it. So hopefully that will help. Um, my other E6000, it's the quick dry one, which I like, but the tube I've had for a long time and it's starting to get really hard to squeeze stuff out. So I figured let's get a new one. Oh, one more thing from Hobby Lobby, sorry. Uh, this one is a set from Charm Me and I saw, I think it was Tony, Craft Purge. She got these and <clears throat> I love the little mirror that it came with. So, and then the, there's a charm that says beautiful. This one says hello. And then just like a little pretty jammy. So 99 cents from 3.99. So that was my Hobby Lobby clearance haul. Um, I've been trying to be good about not getting things that I won't use. You know, if it, if, just because they're on sale doesn't mean it's a good deal if you want to use them, right? Okay, so, <coughs> sorry about that. Let's move on to a cherry on top. Um, I was very excited. I've been looking for, or not looking for, but waiting for Simple Stories to come out with their Cozy Day collection. And they did. So I got a bunch of stuff from there and a few other things. So let me start with the other things I got. I got, I finally got the new color of Distress Oxide um, ink. This one is called Speckled Egg. It's like a pretty bluish green color. I know he has a new one out. <clears throat> Sorry, my allergies again. Called like Crackling Campfire or something. It's like a nice burnt orange color, but um, I haven't seen this in any stores lately, so while I was ordering, I picked that up. I got these cute brads from the Eyelid Outlet, and they're, look, they're like little KitchenAid mixers. Aren't they adorable? I thought somehow I could incorporate them into, like, the mixer shakers that I make. But they're different colors, and super cute. I'll link these down below. Um, of course, I don't remember how much they cost, and it doesn't say on the invoice, so... But I'll link them down below. I got these cute little dies. They're little Christmas cookies. Aren't they cute? It's called Sweet Christmas Cookies. And this is by Yvonne Creations. And the collection is called Sweet Christmas. And I just thought they were so cute, right? They'd be really fun to add to different cards. Just they're teeny tiny, but adorable. I think it was like $5 or something like that. But I just loved them, so... I grabbed those. Um, I also, while I was ordering, I got the mold from the Sugar Cookie Christmas collection, Frank Garcia. And when I ordered from, uh, when I ordered this collection from Frank Studio, this was not in stock yet. So I figured while I was ordering last week, I would get these. And these are the different shapes that it comes with. So I can't wait to get started creating some resin pieces with those. And then I think everything else is the Cozy Days collection. And, well, I have one other collection, too. Let me get that out first. This is the collection pack from A Gingerbread Christmas. And this is a new collection from Echo Park. And as you guys know, I love getting these collection packs because you get a really good assortment of papers and stickers. And, yeah, good stuff. So... If you, if you don't want like a whole big paper pad and all the different things that it comes with, this is a great option, I think. So I figured we could take a look at it together. I haven't opened it yet, but a gingerbread Christmas. I just love, love that. So the colors are pretty. I'd like to do some traditional, mostly pastel for Christmas, but I do like some traditional. So, okay, so the kit contains 12 12 by 12 double sided papers and, sorry, I want my tripod, and a 12 by 12 element sticker. So let's take a look at this. This page, oh, look how cute. All the different gingerbread houses, which reminds me, I have to show you, I finished the first block of my gingerbread quilt. So I'll show you that after this. Anyway, isn't that pretty? And then the back is like a dark red with snowflakes on it. And this is called Houses. So there's that one. And then we have some cut-aparts. These are like journaling cards. 
and I just think they're so cute. Recipe for a Merry Christmas. Nice dark colors, right? Like traditional, but not like super whimsical. If that makes sense. Ginger, I like this one. Gingerbread Bacon Company. Cookies and milk made with love. All you need is love and Christmas cookies. Super cute. And the back is gumdrops. And this one's called 3 by 4 Journaling Cards. The next page. Oh, so cute. Little Santas and reindeer. Sled. Sleigh. Not a sled. Cookies and milk. Some hot chocolate. Totally adorable. I love that Santa too. Look how cute his face is. No creepy Santas for me. And then the back is... Oh, yeah, you could tell. It's green with some swirls on it. And this is called Cookies for Santa. Super cute. And then we have a snowflake pattern on black. Very pretty. And then the other side is like a candy cane stripe. And this one is called Snowflakes. Next one, we have some more cut aparts. And this has, this has a little bit of everything it looks like. It's got some stripes. Or strips. It's got tags. These would be cute to cut out and put on like, you know, if you have, like I make cookie platters sometimes for my neighbors at Christmas time, so it'd be cute to tie onto there. Just some regular tags. And then we have some different size cut aparts up here. Christmas cookies and happy hearts. This is how the holidays start. Oh, that's so cute. It's beginning to taste a lot like Christmas. Christmas Love and Cheer, From Our Home to Yours, North Pole Milk and Cookie Company, super cute. In the back are these cute Christmas trees. Oh, look how they're decorated with little gingerbread guys and candy. And this one's called Multi-Journaling Cards. Okay, then we have this one, which has different holiday sayings on there. It's, it's like a dark red background pretty and the back is a holly print and this one's called holiday cheer the next page are cute gingerbread boys and girls faces are really really cute and the back is just a polka dot and this one's called just gingerbread the next page is can't or yeah, is candy, different holiday candy, including ribbon candy. I love those. I usually get a box of that every year. Just a fun retro thing, you know. These are all different reds and greens and creams. And the back is a dark green background with little white snowflakes. And this one's called Candy Toss. We have some 3x3 three three journaling cards. 3x3? Three think so. Let's see. Four by four. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Fill your cup with cheer. Santa Claus is coming to town. I just want to bake stuff and watch Christmas movies. Yes. Official cookie baking crew. Merry Christmas to you. It's not Christmas without cookies. Baking spirits bright. Christmas is better when we are together. And a spot to journal. So cute. And the back are these really adorable stockings with different treats peeking out of them. Four by four journaling cards. That's how I cheated. Okay, the next page we have these poinsettias. Oh, these are beautiful. This would be a great card background. And the back is a black and white check. And this one's called poinsettia or poinsettia. The next page are these cute kitchen Christmas baking things like aprons and mixer and sifter cookies. And the back is a red and white plaid. Very nice. And then we have some more cut apart. These are huge. There's a one strip of like two by twos at the bottom. And then we have these. Look how cute with the recipe for gingerbread cookies. Rolling out a batch of good cheer for someone who is very dear. You are the candy to my cane, fruit to my cake. <laughs> That's cute. Merry to my Christmas. Baking the season bright. Sweet as a Christmas cookie. Aren't these cute? I really like this collection. 
And the back we have some cookies. And this one's called four by six journaling cards. Super cute. And these are the stickers. Oh my gosh, so cute. Look at this banner of gingerbread cookies. Ah, official cookie tester. These are just so adorable. I don't know what to say. Well, you can see how cute they are yourself. Look at that, it's like a little candy dish. Oh, so glad I got that. And that's just like the perfect amount of items from one collection for me, you know? And it doesn't take up much space, so. And these little cookie dies will go perfectly with that, so. Good. So I got that. And let, now let's go to the Cozy Days collection because this I was really looking forward to. Like I said, it's Simple Stories and it reminds me a lot of crepe paper. Did I say crepe or crepe? Crepe paper. Um, let me show you some of the single papers I got first just so you could see if you're not familiar with it. Doesn't this look very crepe paper-ish? Crepe paper-ish. Right? It looks like something Maggie Holmes would do. Look at the font for Have a Cozy Day, right? So this page is called Sweaters and Boots. And I was pretty sure it came in the collection pack, but I wanted to get an extra one, so I did. Just love the different colors. They're kind of like, like a, I don't know, heritage collection colors, I would say. And the back is this pretty like purplish, mauve gray color polka dot nice thick card stock so i got that and i got these journaling cards which i thought were so cute right like look at this pumpkins candles hot chocolate fuzzy socks falling leaves sweaters like that's everything i love about fall uh cozy up we've got some boots give thanks and eat pie Yes, family, friends, and memories, sweater weather. That box is just adorable. So this one is called 3 by 4 Elements. The back has acorns on a pink background. Love acorns. That is just adorable, right? And look at this one. Look at all these forest friends. Oh my gosh, so cute. I mean, look at that squirrel. They're so sweet. I love cute little animals. And there's a hedgehog. I love hedgehogs. Reminds me of Mabel. This one's called Comfy Cozy. So this is one of their new fall collections, obviously. They have some other new collections too, some Christmassy ones that I'm probably gonna get next that are just so sweet. All right, let's get into, let me show you some of the other things I got before the collection kit, okay? I got these elements, or elements? ephemera sorry this is called this is their bits and pieces they call that their ephemera and um it's 65 pieces which is a ton i don't think i'll go through the whole thing but i'll just show you the back of what they look like if anybody wants me to go through them just let me know i'd be happy to but hopefully you get a good view from here i mean look at that one autumn days so cute there's a little pumpkin spice piece of ephemera just thought this was so cute, right? Sorry, I keep saying that. But what can I say? It is. I got these puffy stickers. Sorry for that glare. There's a cute little teapot. Look at that box. Pie, sweaters, fall. There's an umbrella. Look at that little jam. So cute. Cozy day. Don't you love puffy stickers? They're so tiny. I got their thickers, which they're not officially thickers. They're called foam stickers, but they are thicker like. And these are just beautiful sayings. I love the colors. There's a gingham heart, right? Warm heart, hello fall, happy fall. Do you guys love fall? That's my favorite, favorite season. My birthday's in the fall. My kids' birthdays are in the fall. Um, I just love cool weather so excited and it's been a really hot summer here in New York um, which has been very sad for me so I hope fall is okay um, these are this is the backside very sweet 
So yeah, I got that. I will link a cherry on top down below. I'll link the collection actually, make it easier if you wanna take a look. I got these stickers. These are the chipboard stickers and very similar. It's funny, these are like on a cream background and like these are a white background. I wonder why they do that. You can't really use them together then, you know? Like this is white also. Huh, interesting. Okay, but anyway, look at that. Isn't that, isn't that so cute? This is one chipboard sticker, these two squirrel guys, girls. This would make a cute embellishment or, you know, to add to an embellishment. This would be really cute on a mini album. Oh, this whole thing would make a cute mini album. So this is one side. Mm, mini album. Now you've got me thinking. Okay, and the last thing we got is the 12 by 12 collection kit for Cozy Days. 104 pieces. This comes with 12 sheets of double-sided designer cardstock, including tags and cut-apart element sheets, blah, blah, blah. Cardstock sticker sheet with 92 stickers. All right, let's take a look. Sorry for the crinkling, guys. Okay, so I'll just put it down here and we can go through it. So that's the cover piece. Of course, you save that, right? All right, this is the first page. Oh, look at those flowers. So beautiful. Love the colors. It's like, I don't know if we could tell. It's like a, a pretty floral print, like washed with like a golden um, color, like color wash on the top. It's beautiful. This one's called Warm Hearts. And the back is a beautiful plaid. Here are those cute animals, which I had to get the other page of because I know I needed two of those. That's the back. And then there's this other pretty golden flower print. It's called Hello Autumn. And the back is like an olive green with a cute little print on it. Then we have these flowers. Beautiful. Looks like forest flowers. It's got like a, it's either a black or a very dark blue background. I think it's black. This one's called Chilly Days. And that's the back. Beautiful, beautiful flower print. Oh, I'm saying flower, floral print. Here's the one with the boots and sweaters and stuff. Just so adorable, right? I mean, come on. That's the back we've seen before. There's this print that is all different fall sayings. It's called Harvest, I'm sorry, Harvest Wishes. It's a sweater weather. Autumn is my heart. Is that what it says? Autumn is in my heart. Okay. Give thanks, blessings, pumpkin spice, cozy sweaters. That's a nice gray background. And that's the back of that. Different leaves and berries. Super sweet. Oh, this, this floral is just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. This one is called Happy Fall Day. And we have a nice check on the back. Here are some tags. Let's get cozy. Happy Autumn Days. I'm nuts about you. Thankful for you. Have a cozy day. I just can't get over how cute this is. And that's the back. That's nice. So the tag is designed on both sides. Love it. Oh, look at these cut aparts. They're little two by twos. Ton of them. I'll just show you slowly for each row so you could take a look if you want to see. I just, I haven't seen anybody haul this collection yet. So Ooh, look at this one. It's a candle. Fall harvest. You guys love candles? I do. Especially in the fall, right? Cider. Oh man, I just love, love, love this. And that one is called Two by Two Elements. That's the back, cute, pretty floral. And then we have the three by fours, three by fours. I don't know why I cannot measure things in my head today. Yeah, three by four. Okay. Is this one I got already? This looks very familiar. I think so. 
Yeah, with the acorns. Okay. And then we have the square ones. Look how cute these are. These are four by four. I remember that measurement. Pumpkin spice and everything nice. Life starts all over when it gets crisp in the fall. Yes. I feel like my energy comes back in the fall. Yay, it's sock season. <laughs> Cozy sock season. I wear socks all year long because my feet are always cold, but in the fall, yes, nice big cozy socks. And then we have cute pies on the back. That's really cute. I should have gotten two of these because I like both sides a lot. And then we have these huge journaling cards. These are four by six elements. Look, this makes such a cute, like, like you could frame that and hang that up, you know? Any of these you could. Well, maybe not the ones that are blank, but, and that's the background. So then we have the stickers and here they are. I love all the different sentiments. Those would be great to add to tags or to embellishments. There's a cute strip here. And then all the different little graphics. So that is that. Isn't that a sweet collection? I just, I love it. And I think they had, yeah, there was like a 10% coupon code on the site. So make sure if you order from a cherry on top, you look for their coupon co code or they sometimes have like um, free shipping if you spend over a certain amount. It just, just depends on what they're offering at the time. So, okay, that's it for my haul part. Let me just try and show you the quilt block that I made if you're interested. Um, it's huge. So it's about, this block is 18 by 18. And yeah, it's all done. This is made with wool. Um, I just think it came out so cute. And the quilt is going to have four of these big blocks, different, different gingerbread houses, and then like designs in between and stuff. So, but I figured I'd just show you what the house looks like. Obviously stitch by hand, everything's cut out by hand. And I did post some pictures on Instagram of this too, if you want to head over there and take a look. But I figured I'd just show you here as well. This button keeps turning, which kind of annoys me, but I'll figure that out. Anyway, it took me a, quite a while to stitch, but I'm so glad with how it turned out. It's a challenge for me. Um, I do like to embroider. I just, I don't think I've ever done a project this big with all hand embroidery. So, um, but yeah, I love it. And I think it'll be a good keepsake from my family once it's all done. So that is it for my haul and project share today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, it was pretty long. We're coming on 30 minutes. So, but uh, yeah, there was a lot of stuff this week. So I was glad to get to show you and share. And it's fun to open things with you too, so we can see them together. So, all right, you guys have a great weekend. I will be back next week. Not sure how much I'll have to share them, but I'm sure it'll be something. <laughs> so, um, yeah, happy Labor Day weekends for everybody in the U.S. Hope you, uh, hope, hope you have fun. We're not really doing too much, but um, getting ready for school next week for my son. So, all right, that's enough for now. I will talk to you guys soon. Please uh, make sure you give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I'd love it if you'd subscribe if you're not a subscriber yet. So, all right, everyone, take care. Love you guys. Bye.